Hey and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the five best JavaScript projects that you can create that will help you land a better job and uh, a good project that you can put on your portfolio that will actually showcase the skills that you have rather than you know other projects that do not actually show the you know proper skills that you have. So I'm going to be showing you guys five projects. All the project links will be in the description down below, so you can go and check it out for yourself. And these are not pro these are not you know projects that I've created for this uh, video and hosted it on uh, Netlify or any platform like that. These are uh, projects that people have created that I have learned and I have built. Uh, that has you know helped me a lot to showcase my skills and increase my uh, programming skills. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, guys. Let's get started, and all the links will be in the description down below. So we do get started. I want to say, if you do like this style of videos, and if you guys do get you know a lot of help and a lot of value from the, from the videos that I do, from the tutorials that I produce, you know create. Make sure to click on the link in the description, which is my buy me a coffee link. You could support me right there financially it will be really really helpful and it's just uh two dollars you could buy me a coffee or if you can afford more that's totally fine but if you cannot that's totally fine as well you could support me by subscribing or leaving a like in my videos thank you so much and let's get started so the first project is a basic to-do list app so you guys might think that to-do list app is not that much but it actually has a lot of functionalities such as the crud functionality in order to create read, update and delete if you see that any website uses CRUD functionality, but uh, you know it can be advanced. But if you get the basics done, it's really easy, you know, to understand, you know, uh, complex applications. So uh, to do, you can uh, just say sample to do, and if I click on add, it will, uh, you know, sure get it to the array of to dos that we have. If I click on this check button, it will un, it will check, uh, you know, that particular to do, and it will give a line through for that particular to do. And if I click on delete, it will actually delete the to-do. And also this has a really a unique, uh, different functionality that, you know, normal to-do applications don't. Just to search. So if you search, um, let me search for it. Uh, if I search for this, so that is the only uh, to-do that has the word this. So that shows up. So you could implement that or else that's totally fine. This is only the amount of code that you need. I, I guess it's around 90 lines and for JavaScript that's a little and you can achieve a lot of functionality with this functionalities with this and if you are a beginner this will help you learn a lot of the sorry guys a lot of the basics so you can also clear all and you can add it from first and this is very very helpful if you're learning you know getting started with JavaScript and this is a great project. This I, I guess the person who did this is Naimur Rahman. Uh, I got it from code pen. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well It's a very good project. That's a good UI. I, could, I guess he's using bootstrap here You could also go ahead and use bootstrap. That's also tailwind CSS Which I, which I also made a tutorial about you could, I'll leave it in the description down below if you want to learn it and um, Yeah, this is a great project to get started and let's move on to the next project So this is the next project. It's the JavaScript book list app so why is it a book list app that I want to suggest? It's because uh, it's mainly because it has it uses local storage. So it means that if you if you if you're using a form or any any functionality in a website and if you refresh the website, usually the website does not have the data you already put. So what local storage does is uh, it stores it in your local yeah local uh, uh, you know, computer or your cookies or stuff like that and then. Even if you reload the page, it will still be there on a local computer. So that's why local storage is there. So that's very helpful. If you create this book list app, it's also, you know, having some create read functionality. This is also a great, uh, great, you know, project to get started. Also, I'll leave a link to Traversy Media's playlist of JavaScript projects, which will help you a lot because, uh, yeah, which is this vanilla JavaScript, which is what I learned it from. So we learned it for free. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. So let's move on to the third project. The third project is a weather map project. So why is it a weather map project? It does not have much UI or any functionalities. So the reason why this is a good project is that it takes data from a backend API. It's from another API. It means application program interface. It basically means that you're getting data which is being served on by some other person. So right here, we are using the uh, API of Open Weather Map. It's a very popular API. A lot of people have been using it. I also made a tutorial about it. 
which I'll also leave it in the description down below. Which is a great project. You can get it done in around 16 minutes. I'll also get, give you a lot of understanding on how you know API connect, API calls work and all this kind of stuff. It's a great project. Uh, and also I'll leave a GitHub link in the description down below. It you know deals with you know getting the uh, data from an API and displaying it on the browser. And also giving dynamic data to the API and then serving serving dynamic data on the website. So say if I want to get the uh, uh, you know weather of the place I live in, which is Sri Lanka, I could type the city here, which is Colombo, and submit it, and then it'll load for a while and then give me that particular data. So that is. You know why uh, that is pretty important and i'll leave that in the description number as i said and let that is the third project and let's get on with the fourth project which is 3d animation and just animation in general like if you if you take a look at you know dribble or behance animation is uh increasing a lot of people are using animation to the website so it uh, so it's a you know good time to learn animation and basically javascript and jquery are you know good tools to start uh, doing you know 3d animation all this kind of stuff and this project is basically a project by uh, David you guys might know him so this project uh, let, let me mute it and show the project so it's basically a uh, you know product card that actually changes its perspective uh, uh, you know based on the mouse based on where the mouse moves so it's a very great project that you guys could work on show showcases the skills that you have on animation and the modern ui skills that you have you could also change some of the ui that he that he has and it's actually uh, give you you know much more experience with animation and if you're interested you can actually learn more animation from this uh, person called online tutorials he actually uh, teaches a lot about animation using it in javascript and jquery and also, you know, he has a lot of, you know, a lot of functionality and a lot of animation videos. So I'll leave that in the description down below as well. And the last project that I want to talk about is sending an email. Now, a lot of people don't actually mention this. And uh, the reason I mentioned the mentioning this is because when you're, you know, developing a website, you obviously have, you know, a contact form or a place where people sign up to newsletters. So you want to get their email and, you know, send them their email for any confirmation or if you have any, you know, backend stuff like sign up or sign in or you want to have forget password uh, functionality, you want to send people email. So that's, you know, core part of any website that you want to build. So this web, this particular tutorial is uh, by my brother Rajan official. So leave that, leave his uh, video link in the description down below as well. It's a great tutorial. 20 minutes and it's got around 10,000 views so it's a great tutorial I hope you guys uh, will like it and I'll leave a description link to it in the description down below so it actually uh, goes on to show that it's very easy you know to send uh, emails uh, using JavaScript itself so he uses something called node mail I guess so it's plain JavaScript uh, I guess it's around uh, I guess he uses SendGrid or node mail I'm not sure so it's a great project I'll leave that in the description down below and you know you can you can come or else you you could build you know unique or different projects based off on all five technologies or in functionalities that i've talked about or else you could learn all of them and build that build you know one particular application with it or like an e-commerce app or you know um, any any application which will you know really showcase your skills on all these kind of technologies that i mentioned so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this was all the five projects that I guess will really, really showcase your skills in JavaScript. If you learn, if you're looking to learn, you know, more of JavaScript, if you go to my channel, I actually have a lot of tutorials on JavaScript. If you go really down, I've got a lot of uh, JavaScript uh, tutorials like to-do list app, which I showed you guys earlier and reduction to fetch API. I have an entire dedicated tutorial on API and this is a login page tutorial and that's with HTML, CSS javascript form validation which is literally essential if you're you know getting contact form and all this kind of stuff and javascript clock calculator book list tab which i also talked about because animate and scroll which is also animation you know project that i built and uh, google books api numbers api and you know tone js api there's a lot of a bunch of projects and also I'm uh, putting more on React nowadays, so if you want me to make more of JavaScript tutorials, let me know. I'll, I'll be focusing more on back-end and full-stack web applications and more of, you know, lifestyle kind of videos 
such as uh, you know I, I recently got a new MacBook Pro M1 so you know basically the M1 chip with the M1 chip uh, which is what uh, Apple created it's not the M Intel one so it's with the M1 chip it's much more you know powerful and all those kind of stuff so I will also be releasing a, a review on that particular laptop so those videos will be also coming up that's pretty much it guys so i hope you guys enjoy make sure to just click on that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications so that you get uh, you guys stay you guys stay tuned for all of the videos that i upload and uh, that's pretty much it and if you want to support me in any way there'll be a link down below where you could buy me a coffee for as low as two dollars if you guys uh, can do more that's uh, totally fine but if you cannot that's totally fine as well i hope you guys enjoy leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video